Right folks, this is what was the copse up here. Hacked and hacked and hacked everywhere you look. Trees that were here, I remember the one that, I remember all the trees up here because I sort of took pictures of most of them. And over there, hacked and hacked and hacked. No, I reckon you're a raven, you know, making that noise. That noise you made there, the echo noise, that's a raven, isn't it? You're a raven? You look, you okay, you're worried about the forest, but... Fort's still going to be here. Don't worry about that. Not, and that, if it could be covered up in modern housing. Look, everywhere you look now, folks, this is um, a place where the tall trees once were. And... The men have been up here and literally hacked and sawed and chainsawed everything in sight. All this big mound of logs here are all the lovely trees that once stood here. And I wonder who's going to benefit from these logs, eh? The rich man's burner? Wouldn't be surprised. Someone will make money from it, won't they? Look at it, it's unbelievable. They've hacked everything. Never used to be able to walk here, folks. Look at that, there's nothing wrong with that tree, look. A healthy tree. Look at all the rings, how old it would be and everything. Look at it, it's like a tree graveyard up here. And as I described last year, it's like a a scene out of World War One. And there's my lovely, lovely rook, or crow, or raven. One of them makes a raven sound, so I think these are ravens. They're staying, even though destruction is taking place all around them, they're staying. There is still some part of the wood that remains, but they cut my old beard down. My big old grey beard went, and this friend for the Scots pine was taken as well. Now I can see a nest up in that tree. I think they've got to stop now because it's still the nesting season. And look at that one, the only green one left. They've been up here, they've murdered the trees. And they say for archaeology, there'll be a big house on here one day. You wait. My crows, my ravens are listening. Right, I'm just going to turn off a minute and feed my, feed them. I'll just, well, I might leave it running. Yeah, look, they're sweeties. Come on. The sweeties. Come on. The sweeties. Come on. There ain't nothing left after this mine. No, nope, there's nothing left after this. Yeah, come on. Let's read it. Yeah, come on, you can come and get some more. There's some down here. Come on. Come on, Ravy. Come on. That's it. Come on, it's all right, Ravy. I won't hurt you. Come on. It's horrible, isn't it? What they've done. I can't believe it. I'm really upset, really. Tell you the truth. Look at that. Nothing wrong with these trees. Nothing. They're all laughing, those clearers. Power. And control allowed this to happen and nobody in Weston standing up for it all under the guise of archaeology I love archaeology believe me I love it I love history I watch all the archaeology programs yeah I do they've left the old tree and that could be because bats roost in them I'm sure there were some other um, 
Right, I'm going to take some more pictures, folks. Right, I've just been talking to somebody. I've got a feeling he's, he knows a lot about it. He's probably one of them. One of the killers. Look, look at, now look at this tree here. Look, healthy, look. Cut down, I expect I cut the rest down. Come on. Here it is. Yeah, come on. Come on. Are you going to get some? That's a core. That's definitely a crow. Where's the one that does the other noise? Uh huh. Where are you? Come on. Now yeah, see that big stump there? Look at the healthy tree that I've cut down. A big, big tree. Look at that. Look at this place now, folks. Where my old greybeard used to be, sort of there, just the other side of that hole. Greybeard, I can see his stump where Greybeard was. I think I've just met somebody who might be involved in the clearing. Very much in support of this. And there's a lovely, lovely bird. One of them, there is one bird that sounds like a raven to me. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous, that one? Yeah, we're chopping all your trees down. Yeah. It's weird going through here now with no trees. They've left one or two. It's the nesting season, you see. The clearers will be here next. All this, these logs will be taken away. They'll have a massive bonfire. And the, the space is extended. That's open now. And nobody gives a shit. So much for the year of the tree. Interesting folks, as I was walking through the stony area of the hill fort, I met altogether three what I call clearers. They call themselves volunteers, they actually said that to me. And they said, oh no, it's nothing to do with the archaeology, it's to do with ash dieback. And I said, well I didn't realise a holly bush was an ash tree. But there's one in there, look. See? They're all over the place. Good day for a bit of clearing, isn't it? Well, that ash die back gets everywhere, doesn't it? So it's extended down further from the main fort area. I actually had the video running then, I think. Um, it's actually extending further back from the main fort area now. Um, I didn't know they were going to be there. I know they do anyway. But... Um, <coughs> Thank you. 
Just turn off a minute. Somebody so come in. Just met some more people and they agree as well. They don't like it how the trees have been cut down. I actually caught the clearers. I didn't know there was a whole army of them out. They're in one of the Vallum ditches. And I was just saying how I spoke to a couple of them. It's a small group and there was the one with the blonde hair who reached for her shears. <laughs> I've been catching uh, footage of what's going on up here for years now. I've got quite a good dossier on it. There's nothing you can do. You can't stop them. They've got permission. I bet if I came up here with this axe and said, I think I'll chop that tree down, I'd be done for it. See what I mean? Even though they'd come along a day later and cut it down. I think they, I think some of them recognise me now. Um, I've been, I've been following them, their progress for years. And they're going further back in the wood. <coughs> they're progressing further and further this way. So they're not just doing the fort area. Well, what they're doing, they're exposing a vallum. Which is, if you like, is another ditch. And uh, when he says, the first one gave it away, because he said there were people up, the archaeologists were looking for the Vallums. They said they were clear as the next lot. And the last lot, I didn't expect to see a pack of them. I know they come out Mondays between a certain time, usually up to two o'clock. And um, basically, I didn't know I was gonna pass them, but I got them on video because I had the camera running. So I left it on. I left the camera running, so you could see that they're cutting the trees down. Um, they get the Boy Scouts here, out here at the weekend doing the raking and all that. Come on, glad I didn't wear a big coat, you know. Glad I didn't. I wonder if I'm, I wonder if anyone else comes up here and um, says they don't like what they're doing up here. I wonder if anyone else does. Seems to me they're just getting away with doing whatever they want up here. Cutting the trees down. Look, Crowy, I haven't got any more food. You're still following me. Are you a different crow? I ain't got no more footage. No. You've come a long way, haven't you? And you up there? They're following me, I haven't got any more food for them. <sighs> I've only got a banana. I don't know if they'd want a banana, would they? No, they won't. Anyway, I'm... I come up here. And uh, it's always, I find it upsetting, to tell you the truth. They're, they intend to cut all this down. That's what they're doing. I've got a feeling the big stuff's gone because I think they're only allowed to do it at a certain time. They have to stop because the birds will start nesting. Well, it was a while since I caught the clearers. I didn't get the two, the th first three blokes. I didn't have the camera on. I don't think I did. There's a possibility I left the camera rolling. I'm not sure. Sometimes I forget to turn it off. 
sometimes it's I forget to turn it on. I'm just going to have a little sit on here a minute and have a drink. I'm going to sit here for a minute. Right, over and out for a minute, folks.